Imagine holding your hand out the window of a moving car. If you keep it flat, the air mostly just pushes straight back. But tilt the front edge up a little, and your hand rises. Tilt it down, and your hand is forced toward the road. That tilt is called the angle of attack, the angle between the oncoming airflow and the surface. A positive angle of attack on a wing in free air deflects flow downward and creates lift. A negative angle of attack, or the same angle with the wing flipped, deflects flow upward and creates downforce. The curved airfoil shapes you see on airplanes and race cars make this process more efficient and stable, but the basic effect does not require curvature at all. That's a major clue that curvy on top, flat on bottom stories are incomplete by themselves. On a race car, a huge fraction of the downforce doesn't come from the obvious wings on top. It comes from the floor. The space between the bottom of the car and the track behaves like a kind of upside-down wing pressed very close to a wall. The air rushing underneath is squeezed into a narrow channel, which makes it speed up. Faster flow under the car means lower pressure there compared with the air above. The result is the car being sucked toward the ground, even though nothing is actually pulling. It's just higher pressure on top pushing down more than the lower pressure underneath pushes up.